Creating a site profile in WSFTP Pro. The first time you start WSFTP Professional, or any time you start the program and have not already configured a site profile, you will automatically receive a pop-up window prompting the connection wizard. The connection wizard will step us through the process of creating our first site profile. To start the process, go ahead and click Next. On the first screen of the connection wizard, we see a prompt for the site name. As you can see in examples, my auction site, my personal website, this is a name that you choose that will identify the site that you create in a list of sites. For this example, I'm going to create Ipswich Demo. Now I click Next. The connection type we're being prompted for is defaulted to FTP. In most cases, this is correct. Unless you've been told otherwise by your hosting company, you should choose FTP. If you were told to use SSL or some other option, you should see that available in the drop down list. Choose the appropriate option and click Next. The server address is an IP address or a host name that you've been provided by the hosting company that you're trying to connect to. In this case, I've got an IP address for my server. And we click Next. The username and password is also provided by the hosting company that you're trying to connect to. Once you've entered the appropriate information, click Next. On the final screen here, we have an advanced option. You usually will not have to choose this option. If you need to configure additional parameters, you can click Advanced. For this demo, I'll go ahead and click Finish. And as you can see, it automatically connects me to the FTP site. Now at this time, I'm free to perform whatever transfers, uploads, downloads, or other operations may need to be done. Now if I disconnect from this site, I can reconnect to the site by clicking the Connect button in the top left. Now we see the site name that I created here in the list. Select that and click Connect. Also from the Site Manager, which we access from the Connect button, we can see the option to create site if we wanted to create an additional site profile, edit if we needed to configure or change any settings that we had entered on the current site profile, and whatever other changes may need to be done, renaming, deleting the site. You can also access the connection wizard by clicking connections in the top left and clicking new connection. And follow the same steps that we just went through to create an additional site profile.